Welcome back beauties, it's your girl Abby here if you're new to my channel So today we're going to be washing some makeup brushes and I'm in my kitchen So um, I did purchase this Style Pro cleansing um, tool So basically it comes with um, these brush holders And I think this um, brand is invented by BBC's apprentice winner Tom Hell rule right so basically i got this from amazon and it came i've opened them up it came with this um brush holders inside of them i have no clue how this thing works i think i might see tiktok videos or something you know a kind of a video that gave me the idea how to do it i hate going through manuals but we're gonna go through it all together so basically it's got these holders I believe which you put your brushes in here and it's gonna help your cleansing tool which is in this um, plastic um, case so I believe your brush is gonna go into this holes or this holders and then you're gonna insert this at the bottom and you're gonna start cleaning with your cleansing um, you know uh, with your cleanser sorry so basically it came with this cleanser which is vegan i do like it um it says makeup brush cleanser let's remove that one to see how it goes so makeup cleanser um it's got different languages i think french spanish and german yeah so it's got um oh it says you do not have to add water so it's got mostly the instructions on everything and it's got two brushes here i think it's mainly for demonstration or for trial so i believe you, we're gonna try with a bigger brush and see which hole that it fits in let's see now this one is too big so i'm gonna be using this one here and i'll simply put that one in there and first of all, before this thing can be put into use, you need to put a 2AA battery. So this is basically it. And if we have, if we put in our battery, it will start working. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this battery side and put in a 2AA battery. Okay. Oh, there, it's got a battery already in there. All right, let's go ahead and try it oh my gosh guys okay so we're gonna go ahead and try it says do not put any water in this container so all i'm gonna do i'm gonna open this one and we'll start by washing trying with these clean brushes so all i'm doing now is to pour the cleansing liquid into this bowl and basically we're going to turn on our cleansing um, tool and we will start cleaning it so what my manual says is to basically pour some quantity into there it didn't say exact amount but since this is a clean brush i'm not you know putting too much so you need to switch on the power button which is on there and you simply gonna have to hold this thing very lightly don't put pressure if you put pressure it's gonna stop um twirling around and stop cleansing and all you need to make sure is that it's dipped into the liquid cleanser so it can twirl around and clean and when you lift this thing up as you can see it basically dries or squirts all the liquid in the brush and it leaves it dry as you can see So guys, before we start cleaning our brushes, you first of all have to um, separate your brushes. I mean, according to the instructions in the manual, it says you separate powder brushes from, um, let's say foundation brushes or any cream product brushes. So for powder brushes, you can use the liquid that came, the cleansing liquid that came with um, the, you know, the product or if it's a foundation brush you can use your water and your normal cleansing liquid or you know any soap at all 
So I'm gonna separate my powder brushes to one side and we'll basically start to clean. Okay, so these are my powder brushes and I'm gonna, I've already poured in some more of the cleansing um, liquid. So we're gonna start. And what it says is to carefully dip the brush into the liquid so that it can actually do its job. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay, basically I forgot to put this thing on. So basically, it's not going to be that simple. You really have to attempt a couple of times to use the brush so you can um, get used to how to hold it. So no pressure at all, making sure it's not touching the bowl, um, but literally dipping into the liquid cleanser so you can clean it. And that's basically it there is no magic to it you just gonna have to get hang of it and you get your, your brush clean and i find this quite you know it's really really good it's done the job um except the fact that you have to definitely you know comb your fingers through so the bristles can come back to its normal shape uh what i ended up doing also is to use a, a, a tail comb to brush these bristles so i'm gonna go ahead on the second um brush and i'm sure i'm using a medium size at the minute um so i like the fact that it's got big holders that can hold my big um real technique brushes so i'm gonna go ahead and wash the second one and please do subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet thumbs up let me know your opinion about this um is this something you're going to be investing in i mean if you it's for just personal use i think this is ideal to have one so i realized traditional um way of cleaning our brushes is much quicker and more much time saving if you're a makeup artist like me that use too many brushes this um style pro kit won't do the job for you quickly but i'm i'm gonna keep it on the side just to you know clean my brush on the go it, it could be very useful um if i need something there and there you know to work with so basically I, i'm gonna keep it in my makeup kit and i used it on the, on the go basically So this is one of my brushes that got ruined after washing it. So uh, the manual did say know your manufacturer brand um, cleansing requirements. If you have to be using this style pro kit or just go ahead and wash in a traditional way. So your brushes, know your brushes. My Root Techniques and my Morphe brushes came out perfect. It wasn't ruined at all all i had to do is basically brush my fingers through or use this um comb tail comb to brush it out um although you can see there's a bit of dirt in the roots it didn't get everything but i'm pretty sure i have to master you know the up and down movement so it gets every bristle cleaned apart from that know your brushes before you start using this kit now let's wash our small brushes so basically it's got small holders 
um again it's got dimensions millimeter dimensions on the um brush holders which makes it easy to pick for the size of your brushes and that's basically it you can go ahead use your normal soap and water to wash the rest of your brushes if it's a cream product or a foundation um brush so um there were still more brushes sitting behind waiting for me so i ended up going back to my normal traditional way of washing my brushes guys so i'm gonna go back into the sink finish of my brushes and it will be in the next tutorial to show you how to wash your brushes traditionally right so basically this thing is a keeper this style pro kit is a keeper i'm gonna keep it on the side to use it when i need it there and there you know sometimes you shut off brushes and you need them wash and dried instantly this is the go-to if you need something like that but for a massive cleaning mm -mm, not anymore i ended up using my shampoo i was trying everything to see how it works with this um star pro kit so we ended up using our traditional you know way of cleaning so in my next video i'm going to show you how i get these brushes all washed i think i had about four or so um vase or vase of brushes um so i've got i've got it all washed and dried rinsed and dried and i'm simply gonna leave them all out on my towel to dry overnight and i'll get them in the morning it's pretty late in this um video so i'm gonna quickly finish this go to sleep in the morning i'll check if it's all dried and we'll put them back in the holders so if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Watch my next video, how I got most of these brushes washed traditionally. And voila, I'm going to keep everything away and get back in the morning to get everything done. So without further ado, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye. Subscribe and like. So brushes are all dried and clean. Um, watch my next tutorial how to get most of these washed traditionally. Until then, bye-bye.